And but we're going to begin with an all out search for clues in the disappearance of Danielle Stizlicki. Police combing this massive park in hopes of finding any signs of evidence. Yeah, that search started off this morning at Heinz Park with police from Farmington Hills, Westland, Livonia and members of the Michigan State Police and the FBI. Let's get to Sean Lay. He's live at the park and uh, Sean, I understand they've now wrapped up the search. Just wrapped up, just got an update from the chief. Nothing found here after a full one mile of the park right behind me was searched. The park just reopened a few moments ago. What's clear now is that the investigation into the dis disappearance of Daniel Stizlicki has taken a major turn. Take a ride with investigators into the search area. It's the area Floyd Galloway is accused of attacking a woman last fall. Now it's the site of the most intense search yet for Danielle Stizlicki. A major shift in this heartbreaking case as investigators no longer believe Stizlicki will be found alive. It's hard for the family, but uh, they've expected us for a long time. Danielle's family anxiously awaiting word as 155 searchers with canines, cadaver dogs, metal detectors dive deep into thick vegetation, looking for Danielle's clothing, looking for Danielle's remains. Let's get you closer. This park just goes for miles and searchers have to go through vegetation so thick just to get an up close look at any possible evidence. You always worry. Dean Kendall is a dad with daughters who has followed Danielle's case. Today, the search is unfolding right in front of him and it gives him chills. It does. Also today, a new piece of key evidence, police searching for a brown and tan comforter. They won't say it came from Floyd Galloway's house, but we know investigators removed his bed as possible evidence. I can't tell you why or how that fits with the case, but yes, that is something new we added to the case today, this, this tan striped comforter. What are your thoughts at this time that all this has come here? Well, it just shows it can happen anywhere. Back here live, if you would glance up at your screen, let's review the evidence that police continue to look for. First and foremost, that tan and brown striped comforter, a new piece of evidence that's a big key here. Danielle's sky blue Eddie Bauer jacket, her black zip up top, her jeans and her burgundy boots. Devin, if nothing was found here today, this was such a big public search. It certainly uh, got more of the public's eyes back on this case to look for that key evidence. Back to you. Terribly important part of this, but now what, Sean? What's next? Well, investigators say they're going to continue to search, but not in such a public manner. Also, Floyd Galloway, he's doing court for a hearing August 1st on the attack that happened on the path right behind me. I'm told if there is testimony at that hearing, a lot more evidence could come out. Yeah. All right, Sean.